Okay, so we're told here that ABC is a parallelogram, ABC, D. Complete the parallelogram right down the corners of D. So it's parallel, it's kind of a parallel side. So you can clearly see if that goes two across, one down, two across, one down, D should be there really. And then it makes sense, doesn't it? You can see it. So that corner point is one, one. One, one, there you go. It isn't minus, it's just that's poorly designed, isn't it? So there you go. Now these questions here, this is really key. This is gonna, a question like this will come up, I'm told. Something similar, okay? So how to solve this question? Um, it is just a long question. You've just got a lot of processes to do, but it's okay once you get into it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it in parts. I'm gonna do these two parts first, and I'm gonna do it like I normally do with foil and leave that to the side. So just on the right hand side here, x minus 2, x minus 1. Remember foil, first, outer, inner, last. First, outer, minus 1 times x is minus x. Inner, minus 2x, and last. A minus times the minus is a plus, two ones are two. And if you did it foil method, always the middle two you then combine. So that's x squared, minus 1, minus 2 is minus 3 x plus 2. Now that can go back into this point here. So x minus 5, I'm going to multiply by this here, x squared minus 3x plus 2. So same idea really. Every term in here is going to multiply by minus 5 and every term is going to be multiplied by x. Just watch what I'm going to do there. I'm going to put a line like this and a line like that. Now I'm going to times the x first x times x squared. So basically when I times by x, everything powers up by an x. So that becomes x cubed. This becomes three x squared, and this becomes two x. That's because I times it by x. Now I'm gonna times all of this by negative five, minus five. So minus five times x squared is minus five x squared. But I'm gonna put the answer underneath there, like a column addition. So it's minus 5x squared. So now I've done that. Now I'm going to go across there. Minus times a minus is a plus. So that's going to be plus. 5 threes are 15. 15x. And then I've got minus 5 times 2. Minus times plus is a minus. 5 two is 10. Now you've done that, watch what you can do. You can just add the columns together. So that becomes x cubed. Minus 3 minus 5 is minus 8x squared. 2 plus 15 is 17x minus 10. And there you get it. It's a really neat way of doing it. Definitely a question like this in the exam. So work with that. Okay, and then we get these ones here. Oh, a bit of trig. We like a bit of trig, don't we? So here we go. Is it trig or is it pythag? First of all, not drawn accurately. Please remember that. This is the right angle, so that's the hypotenuse, and that was next to it for here, so that would be adjacent if that was next to it, and so would that actually, so forget that little bit. But here, it says calculate BC. Oh, okay. So I don't care about angles, I've just got two lines, so it's gonna be Pythag. So Pythag, square, square, so that's 36 in the box, 20 times 20 on your calculator, 400, put it in a box, I want, a shorter side, so I've got to do a difference. If I wanted the longer side, I'd add, but I want the shorter side, so I'm going to do the difference of those two. 400 take away that, so that's going to be 3, 6, 4. Put it in your calculator. And just always, don't, don't try and be too clever in the exam. If you've got a calculator, use it. So 400, I don't know how to turn this thing on. There we go, home button. <laughs> 400 minus the 36 equals, there we go, happy days. And now I'm gonna square root that. So square root, okay? And then it's got blankety blank, so I pressed the answer there, the previous answer equals, and it gives me in third form, and it wants correct to one decimal place. That's in third form, so if I press the S to D, standard to decimal, I get it 19.078. So it's 19.1, that would be 19.1.
Right, a boat is approaching a cliff with a, sat a lighthouse on top. The cliff is 100 meters, lighthouse 30, angle of elevation. Remember to elevate, you go towards the horizon and look upwards. So towards the horizon and look upwards, so it's 20 degrees. And then it says calculate the distance of the boat from the base of the cliff. So what is that distance there? So draw out your triangle. Okay, so let's draw it out here. This is my triangle. That's 20. That's, I want the angle. What it says is calculate the distance. So I want this here. And I know that that total height is 130. That's my right angle. So I've got my angle. This is next to it, so that's adjacent. This is opposite, which basically means I've got TOA. TOA. And I'm looking for, so I'm pointing at the A. That means the adjacent is opposite over tangent. So opposite over tan 20 equals on my calculator use the fraction button so that is going to be 130 all over tan 20 tan 20 close bracket arrow to that point equals 357.12 it doesn't ask you how many degrees of accuracy so let's just put to one degree of one decimal place there we go, meters, like that. And then it says, work out the angle of elevation from the boat to the top of the cliff. Let's just see this, work out the angle of elevation from the boat to, oh, okay, so I wanna go from there to there now, don't I? So again, draw out what you know. So I'm gonna draw out my triangle. I now know that that's 100 and that this is 357. 1720645. I haven't cleared it on here, which is cool. I haven't cleared it, but I need this angle here now. I know it's going to be less than 20 because 20 went higher up. So, how do I work that out? Well, again, it's opposite and adjacent, so it's TOA, but this time I want the angle. So, tan of the unknown, let's call it theta, tan theta equals opposite 100 all over the adjacent, so 357.17 dot 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 dot. That gives me the tan of it, okay? I want theta on its own. So what I can do is I can work this out and then I get whatever it is and I need to get rid of tan. So I do that by doing tan to the minus one of whatever this comes out as. And that's important. The way I've done it like this, because watch, all I need to do now is watch. I just say, right, it's 100 divided by that answer, yeah? That's what I wanted there. And that gives me that. That gives me that bit there. Now I need to inverse tan. So well now I do shift tan, because that does the inverse of it. Answer, again, close bracket, equals, and there we go, 15.6 degrees. So 15.6 degrees makes it really nice. Cool.